With the right machine, you can easily enjoy cafe quality specialty coffee drinks like cappuccino, latte, espresso, Americanos, and more at home. But with many products to choose from, which is right for you if you're just starting out? Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love. In this video, you'll learn what to look for in an espresso maker and how to make a choice that's right for you as I take you in detail through three possibilities. From left to right, I have the DeLonghi Dedica Art, the Breville Bambino Plus, and the Gaja Classic Pro. List prices for these are within about 50 bucks of each other. Coming up, we'll talk features, construction quality, usage considerations, boiler types, see how they make espresso, how they work with milk, and more. I'll finish up with some specs and test results, plus some thoughts on which might best fit your needs. Appliance versus machine. Let's talk about that. What does it really mean? Well, appliances generally have more plastic used in construction. They tend to use proprietary parts and are not all that repairable if something major goes wrong. On the flip side, they usually have more features and extra accessories at a similar or lower price than machine grade products. Do maintenance is recommended by the manufacturer and you can expect a reasonable product lifespan. Now, machine grade products are usually hand built using more robust materials. They have longer working lifespans and are fairly easy to repair. In the group of three here, the DeLonghi and Breville are appliance grade and the Gaja Classic Pro here is the true machine. It's handmade in the Italian hills west of Bologna while all the appliance grade products are factory assembled in China. Price wise, all the products are close. The Gaja Classic Pro in base model stainless steel is middle of the pack with a DeLonghi about 50 bucks less and the Breville about 50 bucks more. Now, if you upgrade down the road, keep in mind machines retain more value than appliances. The DeLonghi Dedica Art has the lowest list price in the group here, and it's often available at a discount. It uses pressurized filter baskets only and comes with three, a single, double, and then one for ESE pods. While well, the espresso from pressurized baskets is lower in quality, it can use pre-ground coffee or ESE pods, which means no grinder is needed. Potential espresso and drink quality, it's gonna be comparable to like a mass market chain shop. The, the Dika Art is a good fit for tight spaces. Operation is simple with programmable buttons for single and double shots. A manual no burn steam wand allows for frothing milk to latte air quality and dispenses hot water for American or other uses. The thermoblock boiler heats on demand so you can make drinks quickly. The portafilter at 54 millimeters is smaller than the 58 millimeter commercial standard and is made of lighter aluminum. The Dedica does not have a three-way solenoid valve to release pressure and dry out the coffee in the portafilter after an extraction. That feature is found on the other products we'll look at and it makes it much easier to get the used grinds out of the filter basket. The Dedica Art is a good choice for those maybe short on space who probably will not be grinding fresh, want something quick and easy to use, and are happy with the drink quality of a mass market chain shop. The Bambino Plus is a very interesting machine. When I mentioned earlier that appliance grade products can bring the features, the Bambino does not disappoint. The Bambino Plus does have a three-way solenoid valve, so used coffee is easy to knock out. And with the Bambino, we move into machines with both pressurized and the non-pressurized baskets. The latter makes a better quality espresso so long as you grind whole beans fresh and dial in the grind size properly. Like the Dedica Art, the Bambino has a smaller portafilter, so dosing is limited compared to the Gaja Classic Pro we'll look at in a moment. No way to do a triple shot on the Bambino. The boiler is an advanced version of a thermoblock that Breville calls a thermojet. It's quick with specs saying it's ready to go in just three seconds. Again, we have programmable buttons for single and double shots, or you can run manual extractions as well. 
When running manual, pre-infusion time is user controllable. Just press and hold a coffee button and pre-infusion continues until the button is released and then the extraction begins. When you have what you want, press the flashing button to stop the extraction. While you can froth milk manually, the Bambino Plus can do it automatically with the user selection of three temperatures and three froth densities. Place your pitcher on the deck, set your temperature and the froth type, and then press the steam button and the machine does the rest for you. A temperature sensor on the drip tray stops frothing automatically when up to temperature. Remove your pitcher and lower the wand and it purges automatically. That purge is important as it pushes out any residual milk from the wand. Whenever milk is frothed, you should always purge your wand before and immediately after steaming. The Bambino comes with these accessories, including a usable tamper and milk pitcher, which must be used with the automatic frothing feature. If you like convenience, the Bambino might be the product for you. Automatic frothing with three temperatures and three froth density options is nice and you can still froth manually if desired. Automatic wand purging after frothing is useful. It's customizable, upgradable, and as mentioned, the Gaja Classic Pro is the only true machine here. It has the three-way solenoid valve for dry coffee pucks that the appliances were missing. A real boiler for the best frothing performance of the group, and that boiler transfers heat to the group head, which warms your portafilter. That's gonna make a big difference in both the quality of your espresso, as well as hotter in cup temperatures. I'll tell you, and so will others, with good technique and fresh whole beans, the Gaja Classic is capable of making espresso as good as more expensive prosumer or commercial level machines. If quality is your thing, maybe you look beyond the appliances and go with the machine. With a real boiler, you do need to turn it on at least 10 minutes before use and leave the commercial portafilter in the group head so it warms up too. Construction quality, yeah, it's night and day from the appliance products with thick gauge stainless steel body panels and an all metal frame. The Classic Pro is built to run for years, if not decades. Should it need a repair down the road, no problem. It's designed to be easy to work on. Parts are inexpensive and readily available. While it does not have some of the nifty automatic features of the Bambino, you don't have the risk of problems that come with the added design complexity. The Classic Pro is reliable and simple to use and it's a machine you can truly make your own. It's available in six body colors and five wood trim options, plus it's upgradable. Get a bottomless portafilter and pull beautiful naked extractions, add a precision shower screen or filter baskets right up to triple shots. If you appreciate build quality, value, custom options, and most of all, better espresso, take a look at the Gaja Classic Pro. For cup warming, the Classic Pro is excellent with its real boiler mounted just below the cup warming surface and passively heating it to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The DeLonghi Dedica hit a rather mild 103.5-ish and the Breville has no cup warming, so it was basically cold at room temperature around 73 degrees. If you like hot cups, the Classic Pro has your number. Here are some more specs and test results. Two of the three use smaller 54 millimeter portafilters. Aside from feeling the hand, weight really doesn't make a difference except for with a classic. You've got about a pound of chrome plated brass picking up heat from the group for thermal stability in hotter drinks. With the smaller portafilters, max coffee dose weight is limited in the Dedica and Bambino. You can go up to 18 gram stock in the classic and right up to those triple shots if you pick up the right aftermarket basket. As mentioned, only the classic's portafilter picks up heat from the group. Steam ready times were about 10 seconds for the Dedica and Bambino and 35 for the classic to indicate full steam temperature. In reality though, you can steam with a classic about 25 seconds after flipping the steam switch. If you do that, you'll actually get better steaming power as the heating element stays on longer, creating more steam. And you can see the time to steam five ounces of fridge temp milk to 140 Fahrenheit and total steaming times. The classic with its real boiler 
blew away the field coming in at 25 seconds. That extra power really makes a difference and overcame the faster ready to steam times of the Dedica and Bambino Plus. For customizing, well, no real options for the appliance grade products. They, you know, they are what they are. With the classic, you've got a choice of six colors and five species of wood trim. Beyond that, you can upgrade your capabilities with precision filter baskets, shower screens, and a bottomless porta filter. So which might best fit your needs? Well, come with pressurized filter baskets, so you're gonna be able to start without a grinder. And then when you wanna upgrade your quality, you can add a grinder and go non-pressurized with all except the Dedica. If you're okay with average quality espresso, the effort of cleaning out soupy pucks, or no, you'll only brew with the SE pods, you can usually pick up the DeLonghi Dedica at the lowest price of the bunch here. Now, if you like convenience and want to froth the latte or quality with no skill required, the Bambino Plus does it automatically if you want. Some users will find the automatic purge feature useful. Just lower the steam wand and the Bambino Plus takes care of it. Like the Gaja Classic, it has a three-way solenoid for drier pucks. Steaming times are good and it comes equipped and ready to go with extras like the frothing pitcher and tamper. My concerns are the lower max coffee dose and potential points of failure with the extras under the hood for the automatic features. Now, if you like the idea of true machine build quality, tons of customizing options, no limits to coffee dose weights, espresso quality on par with prosumer and commercial machines, and a product that with a little care will retain value and easily be running through the next decade, you can't beat the Gaja Classic Pro. It's hands down the best overall value in a machine grade entry level espresso machine. It just doesn't have the convenience features or extras of the appliance grade Bambino Plus. Well, I do hope that's helped you out. If you have any questions on these products or anything coffee use the comments and I'll get you a detailed answer. If you love coffee and espresso as much as I do, I invite you to subscribe. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Be sure and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.